you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to learn In Too Deep by Sum 41. Some pretty fun little guitar parts in here. Uh, also, thanks for supporting me with Marty Music. I appreciate you subscribing here to the channel, clicking the bell notification, and uh, also checking the links uh, down below. Thank you for all that. Let's break it down. All right, we're going to start with the open E and then the octave, and I'm going to use my middle finger. It's my favorite finger on the seventh fret of the A string. Boom gung, and you want the you want that palm muting underneath. The last two notes of that phrase aren't as palm muted, but everything else is, so and so what's going on is you're you're doing that octave, dun, and then you do it again. So it's seven on the A, six on the D, seven, nine, seven. One more time, slow. So then it's rest. Open, it's the open A string, so. A, 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 A. A final A, and then six fret A string. Six, seven, nine. to the six on the D string. You put it all together, you get this. So that is the guitar in your left speaker. So guitar number one. At the exact same time, there's another part going on to complement that uh, on the right side and we'll call that guitar number two. So let's break that down. All right, guitar on the right speaker, guitar number two, we're outlining basically like an E major chord. <laughs> all palm muted. So ninth, it's all across the ninth fret, but that's the D string. And then the G string back to the D string. Back to the D string. So. And so then it's. So this is on the D string. It's nine. Seven, six, seven, nine. But it varies. The, the, the left speaker riff stays the same. This one varies. It goes. So that's. But then it does it again. Down the scale. So that would be uh, seven, six, and then on the A string, nine, seven. So that's that opening part. Both guitars. So you can still play both those parts and that verse is going and another guitar part comes in. It's just an E. So I'm thinking of it really as two strings, but I mean, there's a whole chord based off of it, but it's definitely emphasizing this uh, little piece of E major. 
So however you want to do it, I'm using ring and pinky so I can kind of mute everything I don't want. And then my pinky goes up, which is based on an A chord. A power chord, like upper register A power chord. So you got, uh, you know, maybe we're just trying to, you know. And so, cause I'm in too deep, now we're gonna just rock between an E power chord and an A power chord. So you've got the chorus going. You know, that E power chord, you can do. And if you have two guitar players, one can do one, one can do the other. But it's E to A. Johnny A, E A. Got it, rest. E to A, close little rest. And then this time, now. And so instead of, it, you hear that little change, it's D, and I'm gonna play the power chord. Once again, if you have two guitar players, you wanna mix up the voicings for both guitar players. Not always, but. So you have D, A. And you hear those. That's that. Uh, harmonic on the fifth fret that I'm hearing in there. And then it goes to a new part. Next verse. Which, uh, becomes more of a power chord kind of verse as opposed to the that thing. So let's uh power chord and then we're just hitting that octave which is that seventh fret A string. Well fret E string, but I think it's better. Then I'm going to the A power chord and it's just that half step down. Back to the E power chord. Check it out. So that goes all the way up to the 11th fret A string, which is the major third of an E major chord. Now power chords, five, four, two, four, E, E. And now we're into the second verse. All right, now the second verse, E power chord. And then fourth fret power chord, so G sharp up to A. And then that A again to E. And then four, five, five, four, five, 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 four, four. I mean, oh, oh, four, five, 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 oh, oh, four, five, five, four, five, 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 E, chugging along, palm muting, A. Now the next goes up. Now we're right into that second chorus. And we got more to add, but now we're in the second chorus. Second chorus starts the same as the first chorus, except when it finally goes. The E, E, D, A. The first chorus, it just does it one time into. But now we're going, we do it twice. We just 
chugging again. Into the part. Um, so there is a. And so you're just hitting some quick open E's. I think they're doing it on the A string. I'm doing this part, I'm just doing by ear, but. They tend to like that. So it's octaves, open E. And then some, some little chickies on that 12th fret there into the double guitar mini solo. Actually, I don't think it's tapping. It's a pull-off thing, um, but there's chords underneath that. I'm going to teach you the pull-off thing, but let's, let's get finished with the rhythm, the chords underneath that, and then we'll, we'll get to that, the solo part. The solo section underneath is an E. <laughs> to an F sharp power chord, so second fret root. Then a D, which we could do fifth fret on the A. And then now an A chord, which has fifth fret on the E. Five, 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 four, oh, oh, oh. Two, 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 two. Five, 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 five. Five, 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 four. Do, 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 do. Now we're in like a new section, basically, but a power chord section. This new section is E, then the F sharp, so second fret, and then the fifth fret, so the A chord, and then up a whole step to B. Eventually starts chugging it. And then this time, stops on A, cause I'm... now we're in Chorusville again. And now it's really in our head. <laughs> and so now we're near the end with, with, the, uh, with another big, big chorus. Final chorus combines some of the earlier stuff. So, you know, in, in, I can't sing and play that at the same time, but it goes to the. But they're singing the chorus over that, but then they still go. Uh, and then finally. And there's also lots of, uh, you know, layering going on. Um, the buildup before that. There's some octave work going here. And it's from the E major scale, but I want to focus right now because we still have to go to that solo. So, um, yeah, so finally you have E to D, A to A, but then up to C. So, a seven, five, five. So it's got that in there, and then it's got this little um, So we gotta get that, and we gotta still get the solo So cover your finger over the ninth fret of the G and B And we're gonna start with that and this is also going during the chorus. This is a, a kind of almost like a lead part. Everything cuts out and this part's still playing. And so we're just covering that ninth fret and adding the 10th on the B. And then 12 on the B. Back to 10. Back to ninth. So 
So I'm hitting the uh, G and B9, but then 11th fret D and G, then whole step down and back. All right, so we're gonna start with some pull-offs between uh, five, four, and zero. Like that. So, below, 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 between the seven and the five. And then you've got between the two and four, two, two, four, two, four, five. Then pull offs. Four, pull off to open, five, pull off to open, seven, back down, five, four, two, so. So it just goes up and down that line. But the second one. And so that's 12th fret, up a whole step and back. So between the uh, five and the four, seven and five, two and four, five, and then pulls, pull offs, four, five, seven, five, four, two, four, five, back to it again. So another guitar could double the, but then you got to go, uh, so you're harmonizing with that. So let's see here. And then on the only other thing. Another guitar needs to go. So let's see. Uh, So you've got, it's just a half step. So that's 16, bend to 17 and back. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for hanging out, you guys. Uh, feel free to uh, request stuff in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing here to the channel. Thanks again, you guys. Hope to see you later.